So we just finished up at the Sink Success Brewery and Cafe, uh, got our beer, and now we're on the way to Bruges. Uh, we have dinner reservations tonight at a little cafe. We're gonna try some of their famous beef and maybe some other Belgian beers. Um, hopefully we'll get to explore the city a little bit before and after dinner, get some first impressions before we go out tomorrow to look around for our photos and just explore the city of Bruges in general. Really looking forward to it. We parked in a free park and ride parking lot off of Magdalena Strat, and I'll leave a link down to that below. And it was only a 10 minute walk to our hotel called NH Bruges, and I'll leave a link to that below as well. I did a good amount of initial planning for this trip to Bruges and I read a lot of blogs. I tried to get a lot of um, things marked on my map as a oh, want to go see, I want to go eat. And so if you're planning a trip to Bruges, screenshot this next slide. I'm going to put a list of everything that I had saved on my Google Maps and why. So one, two, three. Please let me know down below if you have any other recommendations to add or if you're someone who's very familiar with the town to also let us know where we should go on our next time visiting because we definitely plan on returning. Hey, we're walking to dinner to somewhere called the Svartus, which I know I'm saying wrong, but it's a jazz club and it got good reviews. So we are looking forward to going there and having some beer. Woo. Unfortunately, the jazz band didn't start playing while we had our reservation, but we did enjoy some Belgian beer and I got to try the traditional Belgian beef stew. Croquettes. <laughs> Your dinner looks so sad. I don't, yeah. We're sharing, guys. I want more food than that. Traditional beef stew. <laughs> After dinner, we spent the rest of the evening just walking around town, looking through shop windows, and we found ourselves at a basement bar called Le Trappist, and they have pretty affordable flights of Belgian beers. So safe to say it was a great night, and we were ready for day two. Morning, day two of Bruges. Uh, we got to sleep in a little bit today. Hotel had a really good breakfast. Uh, now we're out exploring. We're going to go take one of the pictures um, that's along the canal where the two rivers meet. And then we're gonna go up to the top northeastern part of Bruges and take a windmill photo. That's also in the book. So ready to explore some more today. Yeah. Check out some of the old architecture here and uh, just enjoy the city. During the daytime, we are going, we're close to the picture spot. It's right where the two canals converge. We were here last night, mm -hmm. but we wanted to come again during the day and get another picture of it. And then we're gonna head to the windmills. And then waffles. Waffles, <laughs> yeah. Noise. Definitely a little bit nicer to take a picture of during the daytime. Shows mm -hmm. up a little bit better. Um, it's super busy here. We didn't think it was going to yeah. be quite as touristed, and um, but that's okay. It's still beautiful, and we're really enjoying Bruges. Well, where are we going? We are going to the Hof de Junge. It's a little park in the north end of Bruges, and apparently there are sheep there. So <laughs> we're going to see if we can see the sheep. And then we're gonna go to the windmill from there. It's about a 20 minute walk from the city center, so it should be nice and quiet. Yeah, it's a little chilly. It's a little windy and cloudy here today. So if you're coming in August, 
prep for that. It's near the ocean. They get a lot of strong winds and uh, weather come through here. So if you get caught in the wrong week, it could be a little chilly, even in August, mm -hmm. down to the low 60s. Everyone else is wearing a jacket and someone's not wearing a jacket. Whatever. <laughs> keep seeing we keep seeing like all these really pretty buildings that are distracting us from the walk so it's like a 20 minute walk and it's gonna take an hour because we like keep stopping every view is so pretty and every alleyway is so cute <laughs> We're gonna check out this skull carousel. Yeah, weird. I didn't come up on anything. So. Like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> you need to Google this right now, Will. Oh, what is it? We Googled it. What's up, Will? Okay, so this is the Dance Macabre, the uh, Macabre Dance. It is a sculpture by Hans Opti Beek on this carousel. Time appears to be frozen. Um, basically, it is supposed to be a nostalgic fairground attraction with haunting quality between a dream and a nightmare, both strange and melancholic. <laughs> I would say it's super strange. Yeah. Like, this little child is walking a, a seal. Yeah, a dead skeleton <laughs> child. That guy's smoking a cigarette in a clown outfit. It's fun, it's strange, I like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. After taking our time to enjoy the architecture and get temporarily sidetracked by the promise of good Belgian beer at a cute little cafe, we made it to the entrance of the garden which promised sheeps. To the sheep. <laughs> Are there any sheep? <gasps> so there's this park in the middle of town that have these little sheep grazing. <laughs> Give the sheep. Pawn at him. I'm get out, get out of my spot. <laughs> I'm a bully. Okay, so we saw the little sheeps. <laughs> they were being sheep, and then we are heading to the windmills to get the picture from the book. The book actually says this windmill is on the way to Ghent. It doesn't say what windmill it is, but this one looks a lot like the one from the book, so we're gonna say that it's the same one. Close enough. Close enough. You can kind of see it. Windmill, it's right there. That's where we're headed. <laughs> Here's a windmill, but not our windmill. It's not on stilts. Yeah, the bottom is wrong. There are a handful of these windmills along this trail on the outside of the city, and we definitely recommend it if you wanted a quiet place to go and enjoy a nice walk. Weird. Yeah, it, must, it has a mailbox, so it must just be here all the time. Yeah, like, do people live in this place? I don't know. Yeah. Cool, yeah. We're approaching the windmill. Hopefully it's still on stilts. Ooh. Sort of. Uh, uh. Doesn't look like exactly the one we're looking for. Alright, so that's not that one. We're gonna go to this next hill and see if that's it. Hopefully it is. <laughs> Even moving. Ooh, the stilts. Yeah, yes. There's one more down there. Nice. Oh yeah, this has got to be it. Woo! We made it. <laughs> That's so picturesque. So there's four windmills along the river, and this is the only one that's moving technically, and it's still grinding, milling uh, grain and stuff to this day. So yeah, it's actually operational. Pretty cool. We made it to the windmill! <laughs> Woo! Jan's Huismola. Yeah, that's how you say it. Sint Jan's Huismola. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that nailed it. Nailed it. Flemish <laughs> on point. After capturing the photo of the windmill, we started the walk back into town to fulfill our lifelong dream of eating a Belgian waffle in Belgium. Mm -hmm. that lights look crazy. I 
We got the Nutella and strawberry and the chocolate <laughs> and a beer. We are at Waffle Bar Bruges and this is our lunch today. <laughs> We've been waiting for this, the long awaited moment. Our yes. first waffle in Bruges. All right, let's do it. First waffle in Belgium. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stuff. That's so good. After that heavenly experience, we went back to the hotel to freshen up before dinner. Hey guys, we're in ribs and beer. Unlimited ribs for 22 euro. <laughs> Get yourself a Grimbergen and enjoy. Will got the chocolate and beer sauce. I got smoky barbecue sauce. They're both slow cooked. They're quote the best ribs in Belgium, so we'll let you know. So Will said these were not the best ribs he ever had in his entire life, but they were the only ribs that we ate in Belgium. So I guess from our experience, we could technically say that these are the best ribs in Belgium. We called it a night after dinner and look forward to going to Ghent the next day. And I'll be making that video soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.